Hello viewers. This is a technical video, not the regular kind of video that I upload normally. This is for getting all the uploads of a particular channel programmatically and uploading into a blogger page also programmatically. Initially, I started off with having um, a list generated out of the YouTube data API with all the uploads for my channel so that I can place it for my subscribers easily. And then I have used a blogger API v3 to be able to publish into a blog like the one that you see right now. So it has the title, video link and the date published. So three parameters I'm choosing. Uh, we'll see how we are going through with this code. Okay, but before that, let me see, uh, let me show you how it is done. Uh, with the APIs in general. If we go to the data API, uh, before we access it programmatically, let us see how we are doing it. So, channels, we are trying to list them. Here it has the parameters that needs to be passed. Uh, so, trying to see how we are. This mine is true, so because I am the user for it. And you see the credentials that are being used. Before even you get to this point, you will have to have the credentials of what enabled or the API key enabled for this service. So on executing, you will see that there is a channel and these, uh, these are the related playlists corresponding to the one that we, that we triggered. So we're going to do the same thing in the code. Uh, I am using Python. Basically, I'm trying to use this code. That is what you'll see in the code. Uh, okay, you see, uploads is used, uh, is placed with this parameter value. So we'll go to playlist items list and then we'll try to explore this API content details and this playlist ID because you want to upload because I searched for it earlier it's coming up again. Again the same thing happens. We execute it, provide it with OAuth authentication and uh, we get to see the result. So as you see, there are playlist items with ID, content, details, and tag, and we published add. Okay. So if we also have snippet enabled, uh, we want to see that one as well. So we'll have more details about the, the same program. No, I mean, sorry, the same invocation. So this is uh, showing how to search. This is a title, channel ID, and then there is uh, there are other details pertaining to this particular uh, video. Basically, the ID and channel is what we are interested in. And you can see there is a next page token. If you try to place this one, next page token. So we'll go to the next page because there are some 170 plus videos. Sorry, 370 plus videos. We will get uh, results. There are five pages, so we'll have to go through recursively to get to the same next page token. So we'll do that repeatedly for five types, and then there will be no uh, listings that will be present in the in the playlist. Uh, similarly, for Blogger API, we I'm trying to see. The, I'm trying to show you the various innovations that are done uh, as part of. Uh, the program that we are trying to build. Okay. I'll share you the program as well. User ID cell uh, So this will try to use me as the uh, user for the API. And if you see that, okay, this is a blog list and this is a blog ID. So this is a blog ID which we are going to use in our program. Public, updated, and there are some post okay and if we go to the post and okay 
it is in the four posts we need to give the blog ID. Next, next on the post, give the blog ID as the parameter and what else do we need to specify? So we, if you see that these are all the posts, 50 posts that I've already posted in, in that blog. Okay, this is the blog page that I'm talking about. Okay, let's go to the program uh, to see what we have done here. It's basically invocations of the same API and using the program that is shown here. Okay, similar to how we have uh, shown the code and we are trying to uh, basically try to do that over Java, verify the uh, so these values are what we are trying to pass it over this program. I'll try to modify this program a little bit. I'll show you this program so that you will be able to access it. And uh, basically the manipulation of the code that is already provided to you. Uh, changed a little bit. So in here I'm checking for, I'm trying to create a HTML file with all the uploads that are present and then uh, try to upload that HTML file to a blog, okay? So if the file exists, and if I'm trying to rerun it again, I want that to be a remote, so that I'll always update the fresh, uh, I'll take always take the latest of the uploads, uh, and uh, I mean, I'll take all the uploads at the current time and uh, have it as a separate file. This is not the best approach, uh, but still it works for me. They mentioned that uh, this is also part of the code. Uh, they mentioned that this should not be used in production. Because I'm running it locally, it's not an issue. Here I'm trying to take the uh, YouTube service as such and then trying to risk list with the content details. So this is what we did as a first call to here. We went to try API and then we went to channels. We try to list it uh, with these parameters content details. How do we get to, get to know these details? Based on this one. What are the partners that we can use? So we use content details. And I'm selecting minus two. That is what I'm specifying in the program as well. Minus two. And then executing it. So uh, that we have seen earlier. Once that is done, the response will be executed and placed here. Here. Uh, you can see the response is uh, something of <coughs> response is this what will have the uh, response of this particular request which is let me show you the other again so because this will make a better understanding we can give you a better understanding of what this is all about so this is the response we got and we are trying to have all the uploads so get uploads this one and place it here as a part of the list of items. Okay. If uh, the file is present and we're trying to open it, we are open, trying to open it in append mode. That's what this is all about. And we are having a hard coded value that is to have the initial um, this page, this part of the page where it is hard coded. I'm trying to place the last update dynamically so that subscribers will be able to see when it was last update. Okay, and as we saw earlier, it can have the playlist can have multiple pages. So this would mean that uh, this has to be repeated based on whether it has the uh, next page token or not. So we are basically looping through the playlist items here for all the five pages that we have and trying to get the video ID for each of them. Like how we saw it in the API. We're trying to get the video ID. Uh, and with the video ID, we are trying to call, get title, uh, get published, and basically the parameters that we're trying to populate in the page with the title, video link, and the date was published. So that's... Uh, that's a written as a separate function just for modularity. Uh, I think we can get all of them at the same uh, time because we need not create a separate uh, 
Sir Ruiz and try to get the details of each of them, each of them separately because the first call here itself with the snippet and content would retrieve us all the title, video, uh, title, uploads and the publish at time. All right. So I think I got confused here. Uh, trying to get get payloads and get uploads. With the uploads, what we are trying to do is uh, get the uh, content details type uh, like how we see related playlist, the, the response we saw it, right? Uploads there, there's one key that was there. That's what we are trying to capture here. And then use that and the playlist items when we are trying to retrieve. Okay. Content details video, I think if you will see, see it again, we'll be able to make sense of it again. So we are not explaining it. Uh, properly. If we go to uploads, uh, where are the post items? List of list all of them, and get maybe content type and playlist ID which is uploads. Execute it. Key the space. Use the content for the space. Uh, then we'll be happy because video ID. This is what we are looking for basically. And as I told you earlier, if we have snippet also for list as a part of content, uh, it will retrieve us more details and we can use that effectively in our code to retrieve all at the same time. As I told you, it's not the best of code, uh, but it works for me, so I left it like that. It's only for a local, uh, local thing that I'm trying to do. So once uh, the loop is done for all the playlist items, which is page set to fall so that it comes out of the loop and then it writes the final uh, appends to the file content. So this way the file would be completed with the HTML tag. And uh, once the file is done, uh, we are trying to upload to blogger. So this would have the blog post, uh, blog ID. I told you earlier, uh, there's a blogger page if you're going to try this. API, it will try to get us the uh, blog ID. So since I'm using my own credentials to be able to access this one, I am using self as the user ID. And if you see the blog ID is what we have as P09, and that is what we built in our program as well. Blog ID, this one, it's the same. Okay, I'll post this code also with a, with a location. I'll change probably change this value, but the content, most of the content will be the same. Uh, once uh, this is invoked, we are trying to update the blog ID with a post ID. So there were some, several posts. We want to have update to one particular page and uh, we're trying to update it manually because we're trying to remove uh, the HTML file and update it manually. So what we are trying to do is get the post ID, this is the hard code value at, at the moment. And then we'll have a result posted, update your block. So this is how we are doing it. Initially it will check for a file, indicate whether the file is present or not. And then finally the steps would be uh, the blog is updated. So how are we getting to know this post ID? So basically, uh, uh, there are two ways to know it, uh, like traversing through the entire uh, way, uh, entire uh, uh, result set of the blog ID post. Uh, you see this, this has taken to me several things, right? And uh, based on whether it has multiple pages or it can be traversed through multiple pages. Okay. <coughs> Let me show you that other way. Page token, execute. There is a next page token. Execute it again with next page token. Am I giving the same one again? Again. Okay. Some somehow I'm missing something over there. Max results to the fifty. I'm 
not able to figure out the one that I need. So each of basically each of them has a post ID here. So if you are not sure how to do that from there, like I am, because there are a lot of um, lot of uh, posts over there, I'll go to. This is the blog ID and this is the post ID. Okay, and this is what I'm hard coding it here. Six eight zero and then it. And that's how it's updating the blog. If you want to run it on. Okay, remote file. This file is basically remote and it's trying to update the same file in my local at the moment. So it has done so far. It's trying to basically Go through the API programmatically, okay. and once uh, this is done, it will give the end page uh, with this particular result updated log. Hope this was helpful. Uh, this would be able to retrieve all the videos that are uploaded by a particular channel, so that it is easily accessible by our subscribers. Uh, to be able to view the content in a way that it is it's useful to retrieve the content. If you want to search for a particular um, uh, playlist item, then it will be really helpful. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, the program has executed, and uh, we see that it has updated the blog. So there are some things uh, which we need to do before we come to this page, right? We are providing the credentials, the secret files for uh, client secret files for us to get to the point where we will be able to access it programmatically, right? So we'll have to go to console dot developers. Uh, okay. Uh, let me go to this from going to my okay. Uh, here you can see the credentials. So basically, since I've already enabled them, I can see them credentials. This is my PyCharm client, the the one that I'm the software that I'm using is community version, community edition version, and I'll download the JSON and I'll place it here. So that's what I've done. Uh, for you, it will be like you'll have to enable the APIs. Go to enable, search for the API, and then add it. Uh, create a credential. Manage. So you will get a screen like this because uh, credentials are already created. I need to create them again, but you will create a set of credentials. Based on whatever you want to use, it's a so I'm trying to use just a web, just a client, create and then I've created it. We can basically go through the same details. Um, <clears throat> so that is pretty basic. And then uh, the last part of it is where I have a, I am running it manually at the moment. So, but there's a schedule program that we can uh, add add on to. To make it as a schedule and run automatically on a particular day or a particular time every day. So this is the script for it. I've also included that in the uh, program. Um, so this is the page where I uploaded the code as it is. There are some placeholders where you need to fill in with your own details. Okay, that's it from my side. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.